Hey, it's going down. Hey, crazy, crazy, uh, crazy, crazy, uh, crazy, crazy, yeah, crazy. J, it's crazy, crazy, it's crazy, crazy, it's crazy, crazy, uh, it's crazy. Uh, easiest way to put it is it was electrifying. Not like your TV electrifying. I say magnify that by a thousand. That was the feeling in the backyard that night. WWE, TNA, WCW, I even say ECW couldn't even compare to that night. We had the carnival carnage, everything was going on that night. Everything was setting up for that final bout between the killer and Tork. Um, it was a pretty good match. Of, like, everything was going good, everything was set up until. Everything went black. When everything went black, when the lights come back on, that's what shocked the backyard. Matt TRK Silks, the hometown boy everyone loved, laying in the casket, door closed. That put children crying. Literally. That's no joke. It's not no story, right? Like how you see on TV. This was real to so many people. It, it shocked families. It shocked neighborhoods. It shocked the whole town, the whole county. 400 something plus people, mind you. It's something that you'd have to be there to witness. Something so extraordinary like that. The, the passion and the intensity of that whole match was something that most people will never see in a life. Well, as a young child, my nephew, also known as the Jack on the BDTW, come to me and said about him and his buddies doing wrestling in the backyard. This is Back before BDTW existed, obviously, um, they wrestled as WWF, which is West End Wrestling Federation. And they come to me in 2006 and was telling me about uh, another wrestling company that is brought up um, known as Backdoor Trampoline Wrestling. And so I happened to be up in Forest Street that day with my nephew and stopped by and seen this. They, they offered me to wrestle with them. Never really had any experience with it besides school wrestling. So decided to give it a try. First match was against a little short dude named Spartan. Pretty badass kid. Um, acting like a monkey. Kind of, I don't know, this is his thing. He jumped really high when the trampoline got up on his, on his high limb and leaped off. Took me out real quick, you know, quick three count. After the match, um, unaware of some things that they forgot to tell me about, um, big bald dude, muscle bound freak, decided to come out, man. I'm kind of scared, but you know what? I ain't going to back down. Yeah. I uh, got into a little scuffle because I was unaware of the actions that he was going to bestow upon me and I was later informed to not return to leave and not come back um, two weeks later I got a call and I was back on the show and that inspired until 2011 which is a good many years and we became the best thing Lewistown has ever seen period